I hope uh, the uh, slide is clear and uh, there is no problem to it. Yes, it is clear. So, uh, so I, I will start with you know innovation which started in the year 1879. And as we all, everybody knows, you know, every, all of us knows about Thomas and Edison. And Edison's invention, there is a company called Corning. I don't know how many of you are aware of it. The company is based in US. And at the time of Edison, Edison had requested this company to uh, make a glass bulb, a light bulb, and supply it to him for, you know, for using his invention. So, this Corning company has been, you know, was uh, was given the order in way back in 1879 to this 30, 32 year old inventor and they were, you know, they designed this heat resistant, damage resistant glass. This kind of innovation was done way back then and they supplied uh, this innovative glass to them at a time when nobody would have thought of, you know, uh, invention of a bulb. So, uh, and this company since then, has been very successful. And if you go and just search it out about the company, they have been, you know, done uh, tons one after another innovation since those years to come out with uh, specialty products and innovations. Uh, right from today, they are making, you know, electronic displays, telecommunication systems, environmental products, and life science instruments. So since it's uh, since so many years back, they have been successfully doing innovations and they have made innovation as a business strategy. And if you see the kind of uh, year after year, they have been successful right from, you know, the glass envelope, as I told you about, and then they came up with 1912 to within a glass, which was that can withstand the extreme temperature changes. Then they come up, came up with the Pyrex glass for cooking where laboratory environment 1932, they were first of the few companies that uh, introduced the high purity fused silica. And this foundation of corner innovation, such as telescope mirrors and optical fibers, was through them. And still, they are the suppliers to major companies across the world. And, you know, after that, they came into even production of mass production of television picture tubes. They even created, you know, innovation for heat and break resistant grass ceramic material which was used in you know cookware and missile nose cones then later they you know they they came up with a innovation of fusion overflow process production of flat glass followed by you know now recently in 1982 they came up with a uh, innovation wherein they can have an lcd glass for high quality flat panel based displays and in the year 2007 2007 they were able to uh, produce a gorilla glass, you know, a thin lightweight glass that had an exceptional damage resistance to smartphones, lab, you know, tablets, consumer electronics, ultra slim, flexible, lightweight glass for consumer electronics and other apply, uh, apl applications. So if then there is a complete case study in Harvard Business School about this company, you know, how this company has been able to sustain innovations and still earn the profits year on year, you know, since the 1879 and making R&D or making innovation central to their uh, business strategy. So there's a complete case study in case you want to go through it, you can completely see and, and, and realize how important and how central innovation is for any 